Hey guys, okay, so I have a show coming up in San Francisco, which I am so excited for. Swipe up for all the details. If you live in California or you're willing to travel, definitely come out. It's gonna be so much fun, much fun, much fun. Okay, so for this video, I actually am sufficiently nervous, which doesn't happen very often, but I feel like this video is owed to you guys and specifically owed to those of you that tried tried to come to my speaking event live show this past weekend in San Francisco. For those of you that don't know and just watch me on YouTube casually or just don't know, I actually do speaking events quite often, especially over the past year. I've done a bunch of them. This one in particular was the biggest just disaster and shit show and left so many people disappointed and was dangerous. But I'm just going to start from the beginning. So on Saturday, I was booked to do a panel speaking event live show with Brandon Strzok and some other commentators. And you guys know I've done a bunch of events um, with Brandon for his campaign. And it's been over the past year, we've done a bunch of them. Going into the weekend of the show, we were getting word that there was going to be protesters um, which is par for the course. For those of you that don't know, when I do my speaking events, there's about a 90% chance there's going to be at least a few protesters there, and it could range from, you know, just a few people that are angry and holding up signs, or people being a little violent. This one was next level, though. So it's sad to say, but I'm used to it. There are people saying they're gonna come throw dog feces on me, blah, 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 whatever. So I woke up the day of the event in San Francisco to find out that the venue had canceled on us, which also happens quite often. They like to cancel last minute to screw us over. The idea last minute was just to hold, you know, our event on the sidewalk in front of the venue because that is public property and, you know, no one can stop us from doing that. So that was what it was going to be. Now, in the afternoon before the event, we actually had a cleanup of San Francisco scheduled. So a bunch of people were going around and cleaning up trash from the streets of San Francisco. If you live in San Francisco or you visit, you know that there is a pretty big trash problem. There's lots of syringes in certain areas on the ground and fecal matter and just like the city could use some help in that department. So there was a cleanup organized for which the cleanup got protested. How do you protest people cleaning up your city? I really don't understand, but they found some way to twist that into us being racist. I really don't no. So I have some clips of those protesters I'll put in here and they were actually screaming racist things at my best friend. <laughs> And also someone who was working for the cleanup got punched by one of these protesters, by this person. They're arresting it. Look at her trying to block it. This person punched our friend right there. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Why does it always have to be a tranny? I just... <gasps> So after the cleanup, I go back to the hotel and I get ready and I'm really nervous for this event. I'm getting messages from like moms and their kids saying, is it safe for me to go to this event? Because people had heard that there was a lot of craziness going to happen. Um, I, there's a huge misconception about my audience that like only old angry men watch my videos. That's literally false. Many people don't know, honey, is that actually a lot of kids watch my channel and when I go to my shows, it's a lot of very young people, a lot of LGBT people, not really the crowd that is typically standing strong against violent protesters, right? Like, they're just not that kind of group and that's fine. So we pull up in the lift to the event, which is just a public street freak out with people going crazy. This was literally one of the protesters. <laughs> So needless to say, I was just horrified. I was able to take some pictures and videos with a few people, but I left after 10 minutes because it was a very unsafe situation. There was cop cars everywhere, which maybe makes some people feel safer, but there were still physical fights breaking out. Once I arrived immediately, of course, people got even angrier. They were threatening to fight me, um, inviting me to fist fight them, people screaming horrible things at me. And I'm with my fiance and my best friend, and I'm just like, 
what even is this? And then I'm immediately horrified for the people that people flew out from Australia, people flew in from Miami, Florida, all the way to California, like drove hours and hours, like just wanting to see one of my speaking events and one of our speaking events. And the thought that those people were now finding themselves in this dangerous situation did not sit well with me. And I was really upset about it. It was just crazy. It was just a white hot mess. And a couple of the other speakers like Brandon, like they were, you know, talking into the microphone, trying to still make it an event and, you know, arguing with people on the other side. But I felt like I couldn't contribute anything productive to what was going on. There, I don't feel like it was productive at all. I felt like it was just a bunch of people screaming at each other. And there was one moment in particular, I looked across the street and there was a bunch of Antifa, which if you don't know who they are, they are just like a thug group that goes around assaulting people for different beliefs. They were masked and they were across the street. And I saw five of my underage like super fans that I recognized from Instagram and they were standing next to these people and all I could think of was if these masked people who hate me knew who those underage people were fans of and why they were there and which side they were on that was a very dangerous situation for these kids and there was like a mother there with her two children and like just not the kind of people that were that should have been there so I left the event after realizing that my safety was compromised. There was nothing productive I can contribute to that and got back to the hotel and was drinking <laughs> immediately and I had a little bit of a cry and I felt so, even though I could not control the actions of others and people who were, you know, coming and like not letting our event go through, like I felt responsible and I felt guilty about all the people and the kids that flew out to see me. And that now found themselves in a dangerous situation. I was getting messages from mom saying, I brought my kid, but I have to leave because I was unsafe. And that to me was just horrifying. And so I really just want to say to everyone who came out and expected like the typical show that I give and that we give, I'm really sorry. You know, I was getting messages like I'm never attending a Blair White event again. What is this? This is so disorganized. This is crazy. And I do not blame you for feeling that way. And I just want to say that I really am sorry. I did not put together this event but my name was on it and we all, I feel like there should have just been more planning involved and I am really, really, really sorry. And I wasn't ready to talk about this. I wanted to wait until the official like announcement, but I am in the beginning stages of putting together my own tour. So I'm not part of the walk away or any other organization, my own tour for just you guys. And that will be happening this year and we're putting it together right now, but I really just don't want this experience to reflect upon what I'm ultimately putting together, which is going to be completely different. And I just don't want it to rattle you guys' faith in me that I can actually put together a show for you guys where you guys feel safe and leave happy and get what you want, because that is what I'm doing right now. And I just don't want that to put a stain on that when I come out with tour dates and tickets and, you know, it's just stressful. Ultimately, I learned a lot from this and I learned that there are some truly hateful people out there, like people just so full of hate that it erupts from them and they come to these events and they want to wreak havoc and they want to physically harm me and people like me and my supporters for many of which, like I said, are kids and that is not acceptable. I also want to say that for my own tour, there will be a very special San Francisco date to make up for what happened and anyone who was planning on attending this show when my tour comes out will be able to attend it for free and I'm going to do something very special for you guys for putting up with that. So to sum all of it up, I'm very sorry again. Free tour tickets to anyone who's trying to attend that San Francisco event and just know that I'm taking everything that I learned this weekend and applying it towards future endeavors and while I'm not blaming myself or anyone throwing this event that got ruined and, and it is the fault of people who came, you know, and, and, and ruined it. I just feel like still any event with my name on it and my supporters being disappointed or having to get on a flight and having not seen me when that's what all they came out for, like, I just, I have to say, I am sorry. So I love you guys. Thank you for sitting through this video. Subscribe if you have not. I know you've watched four or five videos anyways, and you're gonna keep watching. Just join the family, don't be shy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram because half the time YouTube will not notify you of new videos unless you're doing so. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. How you guys feeling about tonight? <laughs> I'm feeling like the next time we turn this camera on, I might have a black eye and or, you know, I might be getting an angry call from my surgeon about my nose. You, know, oh my. you paid way too much to f that nose up, my though. <laughs> There's some people on Facebook who've been saying that they want to uh, come and throw dog on me.
So um, I may catch typhus. I may get some kind of weird infection due to the fecal matter. And if that's the case, I will be making a video about it. What better video title than um, I got shit thrown on me? You know, we'll monetize that. Uh, but until then, you know, I'll see you guys probably during the show, actually. Jody will film during the show. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Love San Francisco. Oh, thank you. Ha <laughs> <laughs>